Good morning. It's moving day. <laughs> it's also June 22nd and it's day 10 of harvest. Got the ice for the road. Got everything pretty much taken down on the ground, off the walls. My bed has now become a storage unit. So all of this will go back on the walls when we get to our destination. Got the strobe lights on the truck. And a donut. I'll do it if you want. Undoing everything that we did in the dark the other night. Guess it's been a week ago. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm videoing. set up for the time being that we're here anyway. And I'm going to try to stay out of his way. Stay out of his way and incoming green trucks as well.
here's our new home for a while. Looks like we don't have to worry about neighbors. <laughs> yes, there's a small event this weekend. A small event? Oh, uh, you think we were at 13 or 15 before? I put my glasses on. Uh, I would say 15. Let me get unhooked from this and we'll pull ahead and then we'll do all the disassembling. Okay. I guess the camera worked so that little adventure was worth it. Good, good feel. 
field footage that way, some videos of the combines running. The farmer that we cut with has a John Deere combine and a grain cart, so we had the luxury of a grain cart as well, which is, you get kind of uh, spoiled with that. I must, I must say, you get spoiled. The wheat looks like it's gonna do pretty good. We are, like I said, north of Chase, Kansas. Uh, I should go out and video some of the wheat just to show you how beautiful it is. Pretty Kansas wheat. Okay, so I just walked into the Chase Elevator here and I have some really nice ladies that are helping me out this year and look what they gave me. <laughs> look at that. How awesome is that? And and I asked her how she knew that. How did you know that? You too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think we're gonna be really good friends. <laughs> the guys back there unloading this truck has not got a good job today. That wind is strong out to the south and it's headed right in their faces. So the unspoken rule for grain elevators and trucks is that usually we go loaded, empty, loaded, empty. We take turns. So we've got a loaded coming on the scale. Mine is unloaded going on the scale. And if there's another truck waiting on the road, he would go after me. Mm, these lemon drops are excellent. on that last load that I took in shows moisture of 10.9 so it's plenty dry. Test weight is 62.5 so that's really good and no dockage which is better even better. Oh wait 
I'm wrong. A little bit of dockage. 520 bushels. Anymore, it seems like you about can count on dockage. Some dockage.
so nice right now. So pleasant. Got a pretty good chunk out of this whole field. Jim's outside blowing the combine off. I'm going to do a recap of the day just because it was kind of a long one. We started this morning in Medicine Lodge and we made our second trip to Chase. We got two lions with the trailer house. Mm, I'm going to say about 11-ish or so. 10.30 uh, or 11. I just don't know. Anyways, we got the trailer house set up. I don't have everything put back where it belongs. So when we get home, I've got to try to clear a spot for us to actually crawl into bed. And then we got uh, back out here to the farm. We put all the pieces back together again and we were in the field. I'm thinking it was about maybe 2 or 2.30. It's now 11 o'clock and um, Frank and I hauled eight loads today. So it was, a, it was a big day, it was a good day. It was a big day. All I can do is guess on the yield because of course I wasn't in the combine today and I don't know if the yield monitor is accurate enough to know exactly what it's doing. I'm gonna guess between 50 and 60. The test weight is it is being really consistent at 63 pounds, which is really good, and the moisture is plenty dry. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, Jim and I really hope that you enjoyed today's daily update. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up for us? We'd like to know that. And be sure to hit the subscription button and the bell notification so that you know when the next video is up and ready to watch. Thank you, and we're so glad you're along with us for the journey.